everybody. This is Beth Simpson at Rolling Green Nursery and we're going to talk about our lilac selection for 2020. The first ones I'm going to talk about are the smaller varieties. Um, Miss Kim Lilac, which is one of our favorites because it has fall color. It blooms a little bit later after the common lilacs and it was developed by Dr. Meter who was at UNH. Uh, the uh, other one is Dwarf Korean Lilac. It gets four to five feet and it's a great shrub. It also blooms a little bit later than the common lilac. Bloomerang Dark Purple throws flowers throughout the summer. The heaviest bloom time is in the spring, and then in the fall, a lot of times you'll get a few more flowers, which makes it um, a lot of fun. This is our block of the common purple and common white lilacs. They're probably some of the most vigorous lilacs. They can grow 10 to 12 feet tall and six to eight feet wide and are notoriously some of the most fragrant lilacs. Did you know that lilac is the state flower for New Hampshire? So it is a sentimental favorite here on the seacoast. This is Betsy Ross and Betsy Ross is a white lilac, very fragrant, blooms a little bit earlier than the common lilac because she is in the Hyacinthiflora family and they bloom about a week or two earlier than the common lilac. This is President Lincoln, and President Lincoln is a Wedgwood Blue single flower, also a very vigorous lilac, as you can see, grows eight to 10 feet tall and about six feet wide. This is Charles Jolie, one of the French doubles with a magenta dark purple, very saturated color flower. When it's in flower, it sells out immediately. And this is Sensation Lilac. Sensation Lilac is a dark purple with a white edge flower and very popular. Uh, probably not quite as vigorous, probably gets to be about eight feet tall, five feet wide, but uh, just oh, if you're going to have a collection, you need to have Sensation in it. This is a beautiful example of Blue Skies Lilac. Blue Skies has this really cool, almost magenta colored a burgundy colored bud that opens to a lavender blue flower and this one was bred to uh, take the hot summers so even down in zone seven this one will grow pretty happily and this is ludwig spathe ludwig spathe is probably one of our darker purple lilacs it's also a french hybrid um, and it can be quite vigorous growing eight to ten feet tall six feet wide if you want to collect lilacs, Albert Holden is just a great one. It's purple, but has a silvery back petal color, which gives it a bicolor effect. And also very vigorous, growing 10 feet tall, six feet wide. Pocahontas is a hyacinthiflora, blooming a little bit earlier than the common lilacs. This one also grows 10 to 12 feet tall and is one of the darker purple uh, lilacs that we sell. Virtual Violet is brand new. I think it's only been on the market for one or two years. That being said, it's the one lilac that I have planted newly at our house. And I love these dark buds. Um, once the stems get a little bit longer, they are also dark purple. Uh, but this lilac is probably only gonna get to be about six to eight feet tall. We also this year have a block of the Canadian lilac Prestoni Donald Wyman. Donald Wyman blooms about two weeks later than the common lilac, really extending the bloom time of lilacs in your yard. And it is kind of a rosy pink color. The leaves are a little bit different too, but as you can see from the uh, stem structure, this is a sturdy plant.